Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we are doing another parts video. We are going to be making something yet again. It has been a little bit since I've done something like this. The last thing was the SD comp, uh, which was about a couple months ago. And before that, it was a little bit before I had done any more of my parts videos. Today I'm going to do another one, which is going to be somewhat different than anything I've done on this channel before. So we're going to be making a golf ball launcher, which is this guy. Now what this is, is you can screw this on the end of your Rudy Tooty and put a golf ball down in there and using blanks, not real rounds, if you ever use this, please use blanks, and you'll load blanks down into your Rudy Tooty and you can put a golf ball down in this guy and launch a golf ball. Sounds really crazy. I've used one of these before and I've been interested and it was really simple. So I said, hey, I can make one of these. So I went ahead and made it. And what really, I've been wanting to do this for a while. And what really pushed me to go ahead and do this is you'll be actually be able to see this thing in action on another YouTube channel. So. Before we get into that, let's go over how I made this thing. So I started off, I found a piece of material I was wanting to work with at the shop and I used a piece of two inch diameter, which is 1045 steel, which is a mild steel. It's fine for using it for this. So I went ahead and put this into one of my manual aids. Uh, something else, uh, I had been talking to the person that this actually got sent out to. I actually made this and sent it out to another YouTube channel, which I have watched for a while and really like his content. I'm not gonna reveal him yet. You'll have to stick till the end of this video to check out who actually got this and be sure to check out his channel because he's, he's doing a lot of pretty cool stuff. And when I first got in touch with him about doing a kind of collab thing on this is me making this and you show it off and do whatever you want to with it kind of thing. Uh, I had talked to him a couple, a few days before and at my shop, you know, if you've watched this channel for at all, really, you've probably seen, I have a machine shop. It's my business. That's my main thing. My YouTube channel is just for fun for me. And uh, here and there I can do a couple of things in the shop for the channel. I've done a lot of DIY uh, outside projects, like building different stuff, stuff like that, completely unrelated to this. Uh, but for this, I needed uh, one of my lathes open. When I first reached out to him about this, uh, my shop is completely swamped with work and stuff. So I didn't have any lathes. I've got manual lathes and CNC lathes. I have a full line of manual lathes and mills and full line of CNC uh, lathes and mills, which are at this point running pretty much constant. There's a crap ton of stuff going on in my shop. Work is really, really good. When I first reached out to him about this, it was completely swamped and I wasn't even able to make this. And I finally got a job out of one of my manual lays and I was able to squeak in there before I had to squeak something else big in there. And I was able to pull this off. So once I was able to do that, here's what I did. I used a piece of two inch diameter stock, 1045, went ahead and put it into the lathe. And now we've got to bore it out so a golf ball can fit into it. So I, wanted to go ahead and use a 1 inch and 11 16 drill which would take most of the bulk of the material out of this guy to be able to not have to bore a whole lot out of this so before i did that i used what's called a pilot drill which is uh, pretty much anything smaller than what i was originally getting at so i i needed a 1 and 11 16 drill so i went ahead and put an 11 16 drill and started drilling into that. Uh, 
Once I got the 11 16th drill as deep as I needed it to be, then I went ahead and took that out and put the one and 11 16th inch drill in there and went ahead and drilled that until I hit the stopping point. So why I went with the 1 and 11 16th drill is I wanted to get real close to 1.70 inches in diameter for a golf ball to nicely fit in there. So I went with the 1 and 11 16th inch to take most of the steel out of there and then I went in and cleaned it up with a boring bar. Once I got that far I used the boring bar to get the inside diameter to exactly what I wanted it to be. And then with a drill going into it, a drill is like this. So the bottom of it is gonna be like this. I wanted to flatten it out like this. So with the boring bar, I used that to go a little bit further, which I had planned to do. And so the inner di uh, dimension is what I wanted it to be. And the back of it is flat like I wanted it to be, not coned like a drill would leave. Finally, once I got to that, I took care of all the burrs on it and polished the outside so it was clean and ready for what I wanted to do on the outside.
Now that I had gotten that far, I was able to cut this particular, the golf ball launcher off of the piece that I had already had. It was uh, really long, more than I needed, so I was able to cut this off. Uh, so I took it over to my automatic saw to cut what I needed off to be able to put this back in the lathe to be able to finish it on the back end. So once I cut off all the material that I needed in the saw, I was able to take that and put it back in the lathe flip it over and go in the back end. Now we're going to be able to put the hole in and thread it so you can actually screw this onto a Greek duty. Now I wanted to put a half 28 thread on this, which is the most popular thread to screw it on the end of your rooted duty. So with that in mind, I went ahead and drilled the end of this for the half 28, which Usually when I do this, I use a 2964 drill. So I went ahead and faced the end off so the saw cut isn't there, so it's nice and shiny and pretty and machined, and went ahead and drilled the hole for the tap. Once I got the hole drilled, now I'm ready to put the tap in the lathe and thread the hole for this to be able to mount this on the end of your Rudy Duty.
And now this thing is completely done and I wanted to do some kind of a finish on this. I have on a bunch of other stuff that I've made done a black oxide coating, which you usually do on steel parts. Uh, I've had a lot of questions on different coatings and stuff from YouTube and Instagram about anodizing and oxide and different stuff like that. With steel, you're pretty much left with black oxide with a couple of other different things. Anodized is only for aluminum. You can only anodize aluminum. You can't anodize steel. So I usually do, because I'm only doing usually one part at a time because usually stuff like this on a YouTube channel is just for fun. I have a black oxide kit. I've done a whole video on how I do that and stuff like that. Uh, I was in a bit of a hurry to put this out and so I didn't do the black oxide coating on this. I actually went with a different option which I have done before in the past and is paint. And I used a high heat black paint which is usually used for automotive parts like hitters and stuff that have a whole lot of heat so it, it really holds up well. I mean it's gonna wear with uh, using it and taking it on and off from time to time. So that's what I ended up using for this is the high heat black paint. So this guy is completely done and if you're interested in checking this out be sure to head over to One Shot TV's YouTube channel. He is He's a whole lot bigger than I am on YouTube and done a whole lot of really cool, interesting stuff that, I mean, I watch. I usually watch just about every video he puts out on the channel. I really liking his content. I am going to use this, not this particular one. I've got another one. And I had originally planned to make this in a video and then do another video on doing different stuff with it and I actually got in touch with him and pitched my idea and he was interested in going with it so I said hey I'm making one if you want to check this out you do a video you're a whole lot bigger than me if you're interested just you know shout out my channel and stuff like that and he was interested in doing that so I said hey I'll make one and send out to you and he agreed and I thought that was really cool so I've still got one of my own that I am eventually going to do a video on doing pretty cool stuff with and, you know, putting different golf balls in and stuff like that. Probably what he's going to do. I'm eager to see at filming this. I just sent this guy out, so I have no idea what he's going to do with it. So I'm really interested in that. I'm going to do my own thing and do different stuff with it. So. If you're interested, I'm still going to use this and do some cool stuff with it. I don't even know what yet. I'm still in the process of planning that video out, but I actually did this and sent it out to him. So be sure to check out One Shot TV on YouTube. He's got this thing and I am eager to see what he's gonna do with this because at the time of filming, I haven't seen what he's done with yet. So. Uh, if you're checking this video out before his video comes out on this, I'm excited to see what he does. So if you're interested in this kind of content, I do do a lot of stuff like this. I, it's, I haven't done this particular video in a little bit, but I'm still interested in doing that because that's pretty much how my channel got started and got big. I, I did do my channel and do some other stuff with like my trucks and stuff like that and then really got into this sort of thing and then it started building a little bit. So I, I am interested in doing more stuff like this. You can check out all the other videos on my channel on this particular topic. So if you're interested in this sort of thing or if you're not, be sure to check out all the other videos on my channel and see if anything else interests you. I have done a wide variety of different videos on all of my different projects. I try to base my channel on pretty much everything I'm doing project wise. So if you find something you like, be sure to get subscribed to the channel because something more like that will probably be coming down the line. And be sure if you do anything else, get down in the comment section and let me know all of your thoughts down there. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and 
you know, even if you didn't give me a thumbs down, I don't care. Let me know what you think down in the comment section about anything. I don't, if, if you like me, if you don't, if you think my content's great or if it sucks, let me know down in the comment section. Be sure to get subscribed to the channel. Be sure to head over to One Shot TV, even if this video or the, the launcher hasn't actually, the launcher video hadn't gone over to his channel yet. Be sure to check him out and get subscribed to his channel because it is a whole lot of fun. I really enjoy his content. And be sure to follow me on Instagram at the Josh Wiley channel. I post pictures on there of a lot of stuff I'm doing. Some of the stuff doesn't actually make it to a video here on the channel, but a lot of stuff does. And you'll be able to see a lot of what's going on before it actually comes out to YouTube. So be sure to follow me on Instagram, get subscribed, and hit that bell button so you don't miss anything. I have been posting a lot of stuff on YouTube, not videos, and I have been posting a lot of polls on there to get your guys' opinion, or gals, opinion on different stuff coming up, what you'd like to see more of coming up, and stuff like that. So be sure you get subscribed, ring the bell, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. No matter what, get down in the comment section below. Get subscribed to One Shot TV here on YouTube, and be sure to follow me on Instagram. And I think that's it. That's pretty much it. Yeah, I think so. So I'll see you guys next time. See ya.